How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. Today here we are taking a look at a tree jack. Uh, two, there's actually two jacks here and a pump. And uh, it needs to be looked at. Something's up with it, right? The original outfit who made this is not in business anymore. But uh, I'll get all the information here for you so it's uh, with the video and stuff about this tree jack. So we're going to put a, mat, a jack in here and this is very similar to the jack I'm, I'm fixing. Yeah. That you're seeing fixed. Yeah, that you're going to watch get fixed, that huh? you're, Yeah, that you've been watching get fixed. This is very similar. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright. Win some, we lose some. <laughs> it leans so hard that way, you know? Oh, it's so bad, yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is the jack, this is one of the jacks right here. There's two jacks here. This is the pump. It has a uh, really nice. It has a little backpack straps on it, uh, so you can uh, hike into the woods. It's all aluminum, and uh, so it's lightweight. This is the reservoir right here for it, and then the pump is up here. And then these are the two. These are the two jacks right here, and uh, they're hooked together. They got separate valves right here for them. Ball valves. So you can only, if you only want to use one, you can. But they are kind of, they're kind of piped together. And you have a bunch of springs. These are the retract springs right here. And then you know, one of the unique things about these jacks is this top plate here uh, has a spherical bottom to it and it sits in a pocket so that the top plate can change as the angle of the tree uh, when you cut a hole the angle of that hole will change as you jack the tree and, and push it up, right? So uh, that, that's why this the spherical uh, top plate here, uh, so, you, so it stays solid in the tree and doesn't slip out. But considerably lighter than a steel, you know, hydraulic jack. Now I think these ones have a three, three, three and a quarter inch uh, stroke length. So first thing I'm going to do is drain all the oil out of it. Teflon tape can be very bad news. 
and we'll get in there and gum up the works. This is in, uh, it's in tight, and it's aluminum and aluminum, so that can actually cause you a lot of problems depending on how long it's been there and if it uh, oxidized uh, in the joint, if they didn't put anything on there. Uh, once that really oxidizes, uh, you'll probably never get it apart. It's, it's almost impossible. Uh, so I made this uh, one inch 14 thread, uh, so if I split it sideways to pinch it and that wasn't enough so I put a screw in here to pinch it this way also it's it was still not tight enough uh, holding that to spin this out so I went to two steel nuts and uh, spun these on 
back to back, cinched them together really tight, and this worked. And uh, actually, let's see here, I probably have to do it again here. But this broke loose to spin this out, so I haven't taken it out yet. Now, I'll show you a quick picture here. This, is, this came with the seal kit, and this is their tool that they sell or rent for $30. It's just a nut. They welded two ears on and put a slot in it. Uh, I, was, I would have gone to that if I had to and make one of those, but they even tell you here to make one. <laughs> But anyway, uh, we'll, uh, we got it loose so we can spin it out. There we go. Yeah, there was something, something on there. Might have been dirt. There's something. Anyway, that's, uh, we'll take the nuts off. There's the sleeve off of there and then you have to insert the pump this way down here there is a small chamfer they have on the end here on the inside so that the this will slip in properly this is a one-way kind of direction uh, seal here it, 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 it basically has a slight flare out to it so you have to put it in this way uh, it, it almost looks like it's been tried the other way <laughs> so We'll, uh, I have all the new seals for it. We'll put the new seals in, guide rings, the whole works. Clean it up here. And we'll put, uh, we'll put anti-seize on this uh, so it goes in here. Now, there's no pressure in against the threads, supposedly. Uh, there is a seal right here against the bottom down inside there. We'll get out. Now, this whole barrel is, man, that thing's almost two and a half inches, uh, this whole thing, it's, it's threaded all the way down there. So we'll get the seal out, clean it, and uh, we'll put, when we put this back together, we'll put the plunger back in and, and then put all it together as a unit.